Hey YouTube, it's Prep for Life. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, kind of a different type of shelter, more as, as like a, a long-term survival shelter. Um, actually from Harvest Right, uh, there's a few manufacturers actually making these, and I think for the uses that, that they're made for, they are actually a pretty incredible piece of gear. Um, now, first and foremost, let me switch this camera around. So this is not light. This is not a backpacking shelter like we've reviewed in the past. Uh, however, this is specifically made for long-term uh, shelter, meaning that the materials used are specifically UV resistant. It is a structurally sound shelter, meaning it can stave off you know, hundreds of pounds of snow, wind resistance, and, and stay up for a long period of time. So if you're thinking about um, you know, a longer term camping trip, uh, hunting for example, or you're up for a week at a time or longer, these are going to be a very ideal situation, especially if you're able to haul in your gear. Let's go ahead and set it up and see what we got. easy the way these snap together uh, rather than nuts and bolts as I've seen with some of the competitors uh, you'll see that this just really snaps together with uh, basically by hand and so it makes the whole thing quite a bit quicker quite a bit easier to, to put together however according to the manufacturer we don't lose really anything in terms of strength The connections are also fairly well organized. You'll notice an A, B, along with strictly A series, as well as the poles broken up into A's and B's, which really helps you keep it together. As you finish up, everything just kind of comes naturally to an end and you realize, okay, now I have to put in the floor pieces. So, uh, you kind of circle those around and get everything done and the dome kind of takes its shape. Now, when you get to the end, you also need a doorway and uh, Harvest Right has actually included uh, a couple of specialty pieces. There's one floor piece with a 90 degree angle in the middle of it, as well as just an oddly shaped uh, A-bar and you'll notice you just kind of leave a couple of key pieces out and that becomes your doorway, especially with the covering. Now the next part of this, the next step, is really to lay down your floor, uh, which makes things obviously a little bit nicer inside. Um, for our purposes, because I'm just trying to preserve some of the landscape around here and, and some of the plants, I'm going to go ahead and leave the, uh, the floor out for right now, but I'm going to go ahead and put the covering on. A set of pretty heavy-duty stakes is included and using the floor mat allows the whole rig to be staked down for stability's sake uh, for again a long-term encampment. Okay inside actually not too bad and you'll notice it's really not that dark. Now again I've, I've left the floor out I've opted to keep this open just for the vegetation's sake but just know that this can be a completely covered floor making things a little bit more homey. Um, what I've done is just lined up my skylight in between uh, one of the triangles and uh, and that kind of gives me a good estimate of where things should be as well as my door just kind of line that up everything looks good there so I'm gonna go ahead and start tucking in this uh, sod skirt as you can see around the bottom just to kind of firm things up normally the floor and the sod skirt would just tie in together 
and uh, and that would just kind of keep everything nice and tight. All right, so the shelter's set up. It's actually a pretty interesting design, but everything from the material down to even the fabric that's used in sewing, the actual stitching, is made to be UV resistant. So it's specifically made for a long-term setup in the sun. As we go in, I'm just gonna go past the bug netting here. And again, this it's pretty roomy. Of the three sizes, this is the smallest. Um, so the one I grabbed is a loner from Harvest Right. But even so, that's still a pretty good size shelter. I mean, you could still fit several people in here. If you've watched my other videos on the 12 and the 16 man teepees, that's about what you're getting here. Um, other features are though, these little skylights. So these little ones, actually Harvest Right is developing some solar lighting that you can put in where it's gaining solar battery charge during the day, uh, but actually uh, providing light during the evening. And of course, during the daytime, you have a very generous skylight pouring light through. Um, looks like a couple of windows here, both here and here, are gonna provide some ventilation if you need it. They both have bug screening. And then this is what I really like because it's all season. This is definitely a four season shelter, um, a stove jack built in. Now I don't have the stove here. I would have that set up and, uh, and demonstrate it as well. But being able to set up a stove, you could even peel back part of that flooring if you had that set up uh, so that you kind of have the best of both worlds, a hot shelter as well as, um, you know, a nice flooring to keep bugs out or, or kind of have a comfort for your feet. Um, all in all, it's pretty impressive. I'd say setting this up as a one-man show took me maybe between 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, it's definitely not a quick setup like would be your, your backpacking shelters, but again, it's a whole different ball game here. All right, so I went, I went ahead and set it up for a second time here at home. I wanted to get a sense of what the floor was like and what this would feel like, you know, setting it up maybe with some, uh, some camping equipment, and, and we like it. But bear in mind, I go back to the point that this is not your typical tent, right? For the weight, for the effort in setting up, uh, and for the cost, it's not practical to pick up as, you know, a weekender tent. That's not what this is for. Uh, this is really made for a long-term or even call it a semi-permanent shelter. So in instances of a natural disaster, needing to, you know, have a, a long-term place to stay, uh, maybe you've got some land and in lieu of a cabin, set this up in a nice shady spot. Uh, this shelter could stay up for months and months. Maybe put in a little bit of furniture, you know, make it like a home. Uh, that's really the use case and that's where this flourishes where I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't dare venture setting up my tent or even my teepees for, uh, for that long of a space of time just, you know, because of worry of the UV. Hope you found this video useful. Please like, share, and subscribe to be notified when we come out with further content. Thanks for watching.